hello everyone welcome back so in this session today we are going to see how we can scroll inside an element so there are situations where you can have a list box or you can have a drop down of having more items into that drop down or let's say that if you have a table that is having more items where you need to scroll down to see all the elements or to take a screenshot of those particular elements inside that particular element actually so in this case we will see we can't use actually the default um, what do you call the scroll into view that the web driver io is providing we need to have a different approach for that and that is what we are going to see today so let's get started if i go to this like think about if you are into a web table now if you see this particular table i mean whatever you are seeing there are actually six rows in fact there are more than that you can scroll actually these things you can see that it is scrollable actually now let's say that you want to take a screenshot uh, when your let's say that when your name is paul okay you want to scroll this now if you take the screenshot of this page you might see that this is that particular element is not coming right the paul this one now what you need to do first thing is that you need to scroll exactly to this particular element and then you want to scroll inside till your text is displayed here let's say this is one of the scenario or maybe if you want to scroll then only it can be identifiable how do you really do this now for this we have to try different way actually for sure to scroll this element we have a straightforward method again i am taking a new particular test here and the first one i am making it as disabled now here i'll take this demo web table as our application under test okay and then i know this table is actually table 2 the you can see that it is id is a table 02 now here what i'm going to do has table 02 now in this case i want now if you see this particular table right i want to make it visible see if you see here it is already present here but i want to take till this one actually so that full screen i can see the entire table it means that i want to take this towards the top actually so that is why i am making it as true true means this element the entire element will be on to the top of the screen fine now this is done now the second screen as i told i want to scroll inside this particular element till this particular element is appearing now let me inspect this one now if we see that it's a td of paul is there i want to identify till this particular element actually now how do i do this so i cannot really scroll inside this right because if you see these elements are inside an element you cannot really use the scroll into view for this actually you need to use the javascript i'll show you that without using the web driver io now let's get into this inspect and i'll just make like this okay now here let's go to the console because i want to execute the javascript here now simple thing i will first identify by using the query selector that table actually first what is that table now if you do this table 02 now let's see if first you can see this is identifying if i make a dot scroll top there is one option actually you can see scroll top I'll say that equal to because I want to change that to a different scroll actually and I will say like this don't get confused I will explain actually what am I doing here now you can see that it scrolled a bit now again it is scrolling let's say that I want to take a scroll of 600 pixels now you can see it is it is scrolling you you would have seen that this is keep on scrolling actually now what is happening here you know scroll top what is scroll top top means this one because this elements scrollable areas scrollable areas top is this one right i'm saying that top equal to top plus 200 means i want to add 200 pixels into the top so this is zero right now i want to make this top to 200 so it means that let's say here to here it is 200 so it just goes like this again 200 so it scrolls like that so i'm indirectly making the top 
to the top plus something that's how this scroll is happening now this logic i will be using inside my code to scroll till that particular element so here a simple concept what i'm going to do here that first thing is that i need to execute this particular code how will i execute this inside my javascript actually here so there is a way actually to execute the javascript in webdriver io and that is called as your browser dot execute i'll simply just write here await browser dot execute okay now inside this i will be writing the logic here now for this i will be just creating a method here now a simple method here now inside this first thing is that i need to identify this particular element now let's get into this and now this is my element right so first thing is that i will be identifying this element here and let's put it inside a variable now let's put where el equal to this one now here what i'm going to do el dot scroll top you can see that these are not webdriver methods actually webdriver io methods these are the pure javascript methods that's how it is coming here so i'll say scroll top now scroll top is a particular property it's not a method equal to el dot scroll top plus whatever the pixel that i want to scroll actually let's say 300 pixels i want to scroll so it will go down the scroll will go down content will go up that's how i will be keeping it so now we have got this concept right to execute uh, how to how to really scroll we got it now our next target is we don't want to just scroll a little bit actually we want to scroll till this particular element is found or this text is present it means that i want to identify this particular text actually here how do i really identify this one so some kind of uh, what do you call uh, looping i need to do right because i don't know how much scroll really i need to do to scroll here i just given a 300 pixel so it means that every time i call this scroll it will just scroll this much again it will scroll again it will scroll till this particular text is appearing appearing where actually onto the viewport because see whether this element is present on the viewport or not you can able to identify that okay but i want to make sure that this particular element is on to the viewport how will i do that let me show you that a logic actually here so the first thing i will be putting this logic into a while loop okay because i don't know till what time i need to really scroll it so here i will say that await await and then dollar and here i want to specify that particular locator now that locator is a td element and there the text is i think paul something is there let me just grab that yeah so this entire is the name now this is a td containing this particular text here this much i need to scroll till what till it is visible onto the viewport now if i make is displayed let's say that i want to make it dot is displayed now what will happen you know is displayed it will be always true whether it is whether it is into the viewport or not is display always will return you true only so i won't be using this particular method i will be using a different method that this webdriver io gives that is called as is displayed in viewport so this is what i really liked about webdriver io they have lot of different uh, real life uh, what do you call methods are ready madely available so now i'm saying till this particular element is present onto the viewport not just displayed but displayed onto the viewport till that time you run this it means that i need to keep it till it is not visible onto the viewport i need to make it a not because once this is visible then this while loop has to be false that's why i am keeping this as a not negation here here i want to do this particular scrolling as simple as that okay now once it is visible into the viewport this condition will become false and it will come out of the loop and you can see that scrolling Let's see if this works fine or not.
and as you can see that uh, that poll till that moment actually it just uh, scrolled and then after that it stopped there so that is how you can really scroll till this element now i'll do one thing actually now this is very hard coded right i'll write a simple method actually so that it can be reutilized later so i will say function i'll create a method and i will say that to scroll inside inside any of the element now in this case i want to send two different parameters actually one is actually the selector selector in the sense whatever the uh, drop down uh, drop down or list box or a table whatever that scrollable area that selector and then how much you really need to scroll actually so i'll say that uh, scroll amount okay scroll amount or whatever the name you can give it there not a problem now inside this i will be writing the logic what should be the logic actually simply i will be copy pasting this much now okay and here i can just remove this one and here i will say that browser dot execute now i want to pass this two parameters inside this browser dot execute now there is a trick actually here you can't really directly use these two things inside this let me show you that so you need to first copy this one and put it inside this right now this won't work actually you can see that it is throwing an error actually here so yeah let's keep this actually here it is saying that you have used but then some error it is coming don't worry about that now here see document dot query selector what here actually i need to give i need to give this particular element that scrollable element right so for this i will be using this particular sign and here i will use it as a variable that selector this selector i will be using it now instead of 100 i will be specifying that particular parameter actually which i am receiving there now that is nothing but this scroll amount actually scroll amount now it will throw error actually because it accepts a number but if you see that this is coming as a string actually here now string i cannot append it with a number so for this i need to convert it into a percent so i can just say like this and inside this i can keep it so that i'm converting that inside this actually here i need to do like this here that element here like this so now these two things came now still you are seeing some value error actually because it's not identifying that what is this selected and scroll amount so it means that directly i cannot send this value to here for this actually what we need to do we need to take these two things here as well now this is a reverse way it is working in browser dot execute it means that this two or whatever the parameter you are accepting here that thing will first come here as a in this execute it will come as a separate parameters now these values will go inside this actually whatever you are using it's not just two actually now if you are having four parameters now you have to specify here as well that is the only thing you need to keep it in mind that's it now i can safely remove this one and let's try to execute it by using this method actually so i will say scroll scroll inside inside what actually so inside this selector now here i won't be sending actually await table to actually here i will be specifying only this locator query selector means the css selector i will be sending inside that so i'll copy paste here and comma the second thing is that how much i need to scroll let's say that to 200 time 200 pixels i want to scroll each looping actually now here i will be putting one browser dot pause so that you can see the scrolling really happens there i'm even i can make it as one second scroll now let's see if this particular method really works fine or not and you can use this scroll inside in any of your test i can really copy paste this one to a util method so that your entire framework can really take this method now let's run this and you can see it is slowly scrolling and you can see that the poll is coming actually towards bottom i don't know why it is not coming exactly to the viewport it just 
stays actually below to that table actually but you can really get inside that particular stuff or maybe what you can do after scrolling also two to three times your while loop is working if still it is not coming you can just give a hard code uh, what you call element uh, equal to element dot scroll top of 50 or 100 so that it will exactly visible there but this does the work actually so that is how you can scroll inside a particular element. Now what you can do, you can even if you go to this particular, there is another example. If you go to this form, you can see here also there is a scroll is used. You can see that at the first time when you take this as a default, Cypress is coming at the bottom. But if you scroll, Code DY is the bottom actually so you can even try by taking this as an as your locator and you want to scroll till coded ui is displayed here so this is one of the uh, assignment you can take or any kind of list where you really want to scroll inside a list or let's say that you might have a drop down which is having lot of elements lot of options and you need to really scroll there so you can even use that first you click on this then the pop uh, it pops up this particular element now capture the panel actually here where all the elements are there then try to scroll till that particular text is appearing there okay so this is how you can scroll inside a particular element if you have any questions please do message me or you can comment so that we can discuss later so that's pretty much it for today Hope this session is useful. Do subscribe to this YouTube channel and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you for watching.